What's up guys, it's Captain S Production 72 Welcome to a different type of unboxing video It is not Lego but it is Star Wars related It's something pretty cool um, And this is something that came from a discussion with a friend And just some nostalgia So let's jump right in So, those of you guys who know like The Star Wars original trilogy Because I know the prequels have never actually had this treatment somehow um, Maybe it's because it's under Disney now but the original Star Wars trilogy, so 1977, 1980, and 1983, um, all had their, all have edits. They've all had the special edition treatment, which a lot of people do not like, the special editions. You know, and what I mean by special edition, well, all copies 1977 to 1996 are as close as you can get to Star Wars in the theatre, versus everything 97 onwards is different. So there was two sets of special editions as the 1977, sorry, yeah, 1997. For instance, they had, did things like add Jabba the Hutt and A New Hope. Um, they added an extra rock in front of R2-D2 in a scene. They kind of polished up a few effects and stuff like that. When Then there were things like that. Reshot certain scenes on Return of the Jedi in the Jabba's Palace. Um, they changed Anakin's Force Ghost as well. They changed the Palpatine hologram. Um, to be Ian McDermott, you know, because he didn't play the Emperor in the Empire Strikes Back for that brief scene. So, just to name a few, and like Han Shot Greedo got changed. It, it, some of these things do piss off Star Wars fans, genuinely. And me and my friend were talking about this. He, uh, we went on Disney Plus, and the versions they show specifically are the 2004 um, versions of the special editions. And we thought, we want to see Star Wars, and it's a most as close as you can get to original quality. So I bought these off eBay and I think you guys all kind of like what's in here. So, box. Oh, I haven't even shipped. Alright, I'm great at shipping methods here. Alright, just so packing stuff I need to get rid of. You guys can already see what I've got. So, let's get right in. First of all, we have. Star Wars and New Hope, these are, yes, the, before someone comments that I am old, these are VHSs. I recently pulled out the old, a player that I had sitting in this room as I recently moved into it, and I thought, you know what, this would be kind of cool, so we've got Star Wars and New Hope, it's the digital remaster, but these are pre-special editions, let's check in the copyright date on this, it is 1990, so the set I, this one anyway is from 1994, so that's pre-special editions. We have, up next, we got the Empire Strand. These are pretty cool cases as well. Like, even if you're not going to buy these to watch, these are, like, I might even display these on the backs of my Lego shelves behind the sets. These are that cool. Um, So, the, look at the case on this one. This is cool. So, this Empire Strand is back. Um, and, obviously, you guys know coming next, and this is probably my favourite of all of them, is the Return of the Jedi one. So... Three kind of really cool um, things that got done here back in the day. For instance, with the modern ones, you'll have that cool kind of variation of cases. And these are nice. That one was 94. This one is 1994. I'm assuming this next one will be 1994. Um, 94. So it's like, these are basically, yeah, of course they're going to be in v VHS. I get there's someone probably laughing in the comments of an age joke here, but... I originally experienced Star Wars, I was born 2003, but I initially experienced Star Wars on VHS, that's how I was introduced to it, I believe the first movie I saw was Return of the Jedi, it was on a VHS, so this will be a nostalgia trip to watch these in this quality, um, well the poorer quality, but I mean damn look at those cases, that Empire Strikes Back one is like, you see Vader's helmet, it's all shiny and glossy, it's quite cool, um, from any younger audience members, I know probably some young people do watch my channel, a VHS is this. I don't know, I thought this would be kind of cool to show off. It's something that I've bought as a kind of cool throwback item, but also, and you know, the cool part is how cheaply you can buy some of this stuff. I bought all this for four ninety nine, which I'm happy about. They're all good condition. I mean, it's very hard to destroy or break one of these. Very like a DVD would be, but I believe we're now living in an era where even DVDs are obsolete. So, 
yeah, thank you very much for watching. Probably a cool little unboxing. Might do something like this again in the future. Who knows? Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.